Hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. This is a channel where I typically like to make videos about books as well as homeschooling, mostly book related. Today's video is what I plan on reading for July. So I titled this video, Fun Reading Only July TBR or something like that, for a couple reasons. First, this is my last month of summer. I'm starting back up homeschooling end of July, early August timeframe. So this is really the last month to get to all the books that I've been wanting to get to, all the fun books. So that's one reason. The other reason is for the last month or two, it's been good reading and I've been choosing good books, but they were for specific purposes. Like I've been looking into science and faith. I've been looking into racial reconciliations, so wonderful topics, but a little brain draining, I guess is a good way to put it. And so I just want some just fun reads for this last month of summer, or at least my last month of summer. So let me hop in. I have a couple book clubs and a buddy read, and then a random assortment of books that I want to be able to pick from. I also want to participate in the reading rush. So hopefully some of my books here will satisfy some of those prompts, but we'll see. I'll put a video up for that later in the month. So the first book I have for a book club is the Southern's Book Club, um, <laughs> I keep saying it wrong. The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. So this book has been making its rounds on YouTube and it has sounded so interesting and a lot of people like it. I'm picking it up for the Getting Hugga With It book club that I'm participating with April over on her channel. It is a horror book and I don't usually read horror books, but it sounds really good. Almost like cute horror, we'll see. So anyway, it's about this book club in like the 90s a bunch of like soccer moms who like to get together and read books about like true crime or suspense fiction stuff. And so, I mean, that sounds like an awesome book club that I would join. And so there's just a group of friends and then this new guy moves into town and then children start going missing, I believe. And these women think this guy might be behind it. And so they just start investigating. They start looking into it, seeing what's going on and maybe he's a vampire, I'm not sure heard good things. I mean, that sounds kind of cutesy, but then I've heard that it gets a little dark. So I will let you know because this is definitely going to get read in July. So first on my list. The second book I am reading for a book club is called Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. I'm reading this for the Armed Book Club through Emily's channel and I'll link all the channels below. I love her book club, so I, I like to participate in these as often as I can. And I have read a previous Jennifer Donnelly book, These Shallow Graves, that I really liked. And it was a YA mystery. And this one is more of a YA historical fiction. So that sounds really intriguing to me. And I have it coming in the mail, so I don't have it to show it to you. But what it sounds like it's about is about two women, one in modern day, one 200 years ago Paris, and it kind of hops back and forth. So the present day girl, I think her name is Andy. She is coming from kind of a troubled, family, there's some troubling things going on. Then her dad, I think, sends her to Paris. I can't remember exactly why. I'm sure I'll figure it out. And then she finds this diary of this woman written 200 years ago. And so it kind of goes back and forth in their stories until I believe in some way the modern day Andy gets sucked into 200 years ago Paris, I think, and kind of has to handle or deal with that woman's story in some way. So that just sounds really good. I mean, I love dual timeline historical fiction books. I really enjoyed that previous Jennifer Donnelly, so I'm really looking forward to this one. I am super jazzed to pick it up. And so the third book on my list, I am planning to buddy read with Tanya over at The Sampler Girl. I will link her channel below. She's really sweet. I enjoy her content. Go check her out. She enjoys a lot of historical fiction. And so we are going to have fun reading this together. So the Susan Meisner book, this is also on my five star prediction book list. So I'm excited to get to this. It's a bridge across the ocean and it is about women after World War II in Europe that are getting on a board a ship to go to America to get married. It's kind of the war wives is how they're deemed. And then there's a couple women on here that are like escaping something and get on the boat and then something happens on the boat. And that is definitely not told what exactly happens and then in the present day there is a woman who starts investigating it sees that there's just kind of this mystery from so many years ago and she starts putting together the pieces and so i believe it hops back and forth and i really loved as bright as heaven by susan meisner and so i have really high hopes for this one so i'm really looking forward to this so thank you tanya for reaching out to me i am super jazzed to get to this this month 
And now I have a small stack of books that I hope to get to as well this month that I'm really excited for. So the first being Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I just read Lock Every Door this past month, June. It was amazing, I loved it. And so when I saw that this was a book of the month pick and it came out a little early, I picked it up. I actually just signed up for book of the month. I'd never signed up for it before, so that's kind of fun and exciting. So this book is kind of a ghost story, I believe. What it is about is there's this girl who grew up in this, like I think it's a Victorian manor house of some sort. When she was a child, something happened. Something scary enough that the whole family like fleed from the house in the middle of the night sort of idea. And so scary that her dad went and wrote a book about the experience, a nonfiction ghost book about the experience. So after her parents passing, she inherits the house and she goes back to the house and she's gone into the business of fixer uppers sort of idea. So she goes into old houses and fixes them up. So she's like, I'm gonna go into this old house. I'm not scared. I don't believe all the things that my dad and my family believed and I'm brave enough to go back to this house. So she does. And she goes back to try and fix it up and then it goes from there. I'm not sure where it goes, but I'm excited to see where it goes because Lock Every Door was just really fun and I just really enjoyed his writing style. So I am looking forward to this. I'm definitely going to pick it up. The fourth book I hope to get to is a Diane Setterfield and I've been meaning to read her book. So I wanted to read The 13th Tale and I still do. I just haven't gotten to it, but I own this book and I wanted to pick it up. So it's called Once Upon a River, and I just love the cover. And so what happens is there's a man who bursts into an inn in London, I believe, carrying a dead girl, presumed. I think they presume she's been drowned. And then like hours later, she wakes up and she stirs and she wakes up, but then she can't talk. And so I believe the story then is about all these different people who tried to claim her. As to why they all want her, I'm not sure. As to why all of these people think they have a claim to her, I'm not sure. So it just sounds a little mysterious and just very interesting. And so I'm excited to read this. I do want to read the 13th tale at some point, but this just is calling to me this month. And so the last book that is for sure on my list of books to pick from is The Tale of Despero by Kate DiCamillo. So I've heard a ton about this author off of the Read Aloud Revival, the Sarah McKenzie podcast. Love it, love her book, all those things. And so I've been wanting to pick one up and my plan is to read this aloud to our kids this upcoming school year. So I wanted to read it and it's also just a beloved middle grade book. So what I understand it to be about is a mouse. A mouse, a princess, a rat, a serving girl, and they go on some sort of adventure that involves a castle and a cellar but I'm not quite sure more than that. But I've heard great things. Uh, I'm reading it just to check the content to make sure it's not too scary. I don't think it will be, but my kids are f six and five, so they might be still a little bit on the young side of this book, but I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna definitely read this one. Should be a quick read. I've been wanting to read it for a while anyway, so this just kind of pushes me to push it to the top of my list. So that's on my list. And since this is my fun reading only month, I'm hoping I can get to more than six books, and I think I will. I mean, I still have to plan my Reading Rush TBR, and so we'll see what ends up on there. I have a book haul coming in the next couple weeks, so there's a couple more books that I could pick off of that list. And then I'm planning to do, just to let you know a little ahead of time, a try a chapter video for vacation. Like, what book am I gonna pick for the plane? So you can look for those videos coming up. So I have a couple more that are probably gonna be added to this TBR list. But this is such an exciting stack for me. I am just, I'm jazzed to get into books just for fun, just leisure reading. I love that. So wish me luck on that. And yeah, that's what I have for this video. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking, subscribing, all that stuff if you like what you see. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. All right, have a wonderful day. All right, take care.